Hi, welcome back to Diabetes. Tales. I am sorry about the lack of videos. Um, to be honest with you, I've actually been debating on what to do for the videos. I know it, it, I've got so many that I want to do. And I was trying to get them done in a particular order, but it's a, sometimes it's difficult, but sometimes more issues come up than what doesn't. And it's been a bit of a thing at the moment whether or not I wanted to do this video or not because it's quite a personal video but it's still about my diabetes as well so it's a bit linked um, I've had depression on and off over the past few years and it has recently decided to rear its ugly head again um, I've only recently been put back on my antidepressants, but it's been going on for a while. People have noticed. Um, it's it's hard to describe. It's um, I'm not quite sure. I'm trying to talk to you as if I'm talking to somebody in front of me, and it, it can be quite difficult for me to open up but I will try my best. Um, depression can affect quite a lot of diabetics. It's I'm not quite sure why but it, I, when I first got my depression I was told oh it's quite common in diabetics. So it's like okay fair enough and it's kind of like you get it once you'll get it back. I did really well I went about 10-11 months without any medication but the past few months it's been rearing its ugly head um, you do have to be aware of what the signs are now some signs are different for different people I'm not sure of all the signs of depression but I know what I personally went through um, mine was the either the fact that I couldn't sleep at all or if I could sleep and I slept the entire night it was as if I'd had no sleep at all no matter I was falling asleep through the day I would <laughs> I'd be fall asleep while I'm stood up I did that a couple of times that wasn't fun um, emotions get to you you can I a few people I do know who have had depression get angry and snappy uh, I don't think I got that snappy but my emotions was I cried over the littlest thing somebody could just come up to me in the street well not in the street but you know a friend come up to me and go hey how's things and that'd be it I'd be off I could cry at the slightest little thing um, there are ways around not around depression but things that can help you with it without getting to the medical side of things like getting something to occupy yourself like a hobby um, years ago I had my craft making for my cards and stuff but because of my hands and joints being a bit funny I've not been able to do that so I now play with my dog who's over by his cage debating whether or not he's going to find more fluff on the floor look at where he keeps pulling it from I think he's hiding it from me and my cameraman saying, yes, he's hiding it, and he has found more fluff. I don't know where he's pulled that from, but it's alright, I'll sort it out. As you can probably tell by the mess behind me, that you just get to the point where you think, why should I clean up? I've just got no energy, nothing. Now, I know depression has different stages. I'm not that high on the list for depression because I, I'm not, as they put it, I'm not suicidal, which is a good thing. I don't think I'm going to kill myself or anything like that, I don't self-harm or anything, but what I do think is why do I bother? Why? Um, over the past few years I've been trying to get my diabetes under control. I have struggled, am struggling and the one thing I'm wanting is that I've been married for two years now 
and me and my husband are wanting a baby. Now, I can't, sorry that's my other, shush, um, we're wanting a baby and we can't with my sugar levels and I keep thinking to myself, well, I'm no good, I'm useless. Why uh, things and this is quite a few home truths. My husband already knows these things, but people who watch this might not. I've got friends watching this as well, so um, you know, it just gets to a point where you think, why do I bother? No matter what I do, my levels aren't controlling. I'm in contact with my diabetes team. We're trying everything. And it's just getting to the point now where I've got to the point where I don't want to inject because there's no point. And it's just... I don't know. It's difficult. I am going through counselling. I have my first session on Wednesday of next week, or Wednesday this week, depending when I manage to get this video uploaded. I'm hoping for tonight, but you never know. Um, it's, uh, it's really hard to explain on how I feel. Some days I get up and I think, yay, I get to get up. Other days I'm like, I don't want to get up. I don't want to go through the day. The one thing that is keeping me going at this moment in time, apart from my husband and family and stuff, is the fact that I'm working. I go to work to get me out of a routine, but into a routine at the same time. It's, it's difficult. When I had depression before, work didn't help. It was work that was causing it. But now that I've got my new job, my work's taking my mind off things. I'm learning new things. I'm doing things, although my concentration isn't exactly the best. As I've been trying to film this particular video for about a week. I did want to do another one, but I thought that this video will be more appropriate for the way that I'm feeling at the moment. I have only recently started these new meds. I'm not going to list the meds that you can take because there's so many and I'm not going to tell you the one that I'm on. Um, but my advice is if anybody, even if you're not diabetic and you're watching this video, seek help because you don't want to get it to the point where it's too late. About two years ago if not a little bit longer. I'm actually thinking now. Four, four years ago. I'm just going to ask the cameraman. Mike, when did we move in together? About four years ago. My cameraman's nodding his head, so it's about four years ago. I got severe depression, and I mean severe. It got to the point where I was drinking a lot. We barely had any money, but I still spent it on alcohol. Okay, it wasn't much alcohol, it was only Bacardi Breezers, but still, it's alcohol. Well, to me it is. But I was drinking just to dull the pain. And I tried to hide it. Nobody noticed until I was out one day with my mum. And she noticed. Not the alcohol because I, I didn't drink that much that anybody would notice that much. But my mum noticed my mood, my behaviour, and she was then asking me questions, like mums do. And I had to admit that, okay, I wasn't exactly slitting my wrist to self-harm, I was doing worse. I had stopped injecting insulin. I'd gone a week with no form of insulin. Made me the odd shot here and there just to put up appearances to say that, oh yes, I still am. I haven't got to that stage yet. I sought medical help 
before I got to that point. Please, don't get that far. Don't let it get that far. You notice signs, get help. I didn't want to admit the fact that I needed help because I like to do things myself, manage the best I can. I don't like asking for help, but this is the one thing I asked for help. And if I notice, even my husband will notice my behaviour changes. And he, because he's lived with me for four or five years now, he notices the signs in me. That my mood's changing, my attitude to life has changed. We do try, but just seek help. Don't let it get to the point where you think life isn't worth it. Because even at the toughest times, there's always something in life worth it. Just remember that. If you need anyone to talk to, just contact me. Um, there's a link below for my direct Twitter. You can message me on here. Everything will get better. I know you hear that from everything, everyone. It'll get better. Don't worry about it. But it will. I know my depression has come back. But I will fight it. To the best of my ability, I will fight this. It's, it's hard to explain. But it is able to to get past. It may come back. It has with me. It may come back. It's like a cold. It's the easiest way I can explain it. It's like a cold. You'll get it. You'll feel really down. You'll fight it. It'll go away. A few years later, it might come back. But because you've done it once, you can fight it again. Just remember there's always somebody there family, friends, you can even go to your GP, you can just turn up and just say that you need a consultation. Believe it or not, quite a lot of pharmacies can help as well, if you want to speak to a pharmacist, they will help. There are people out there, there's phone numbers, um, I'm not sure about them at this present moment in time, but by the time the upload will go, I will find some numbers and put them in. Um, I'm sorry mate, he's trying to eat the flies. The one thing at the moment that is actually trying to keep me going is the fact that my dog was in the kitchen, Alfie, is trying to eat the fly that keeps buzzing around the house. It's not bugging us, but it's really bugging him. <laughs> he really wants this fly. He's just giving me the giggles over the fact that he's doing it just simple things like that even just a little giggle the husband tries to make me giggle as much as he can which is yeah there he is to be fair sometimes it can be quite annoying but just even it's the littlest things just try not to put too much of a front on try and tell people how you feel that's Pretty much all I can say, apart from do keep an eye on your diabetes, it will be affected. My sugars go through the roof. I am currently at 20. I don't know what that is in the other meters, but I'm 20.4. Um, I know that there can be an American version, I'm not sure what that one is. Um... And they are currently running anywhere between 18 and 27, which is rather high. But I try, but I think I'm starting to witter a bit now. So I think I will leave this video here. Any questions, anything, um, leave a comment. 
um, Twitter me. No, that doesn't sound. That's not right, is it? <laughs> Tweet. Tweet. That's the one. Thank you, Mike, my dear husband. He's reminding me what to say. It is. You can tweet me, not Twitter. See, as I said, concentration. My head goes everywhere. I don't even know what I'm on about half the time. I walk into a room and forget why. Wait, I had that before anyway. But yeah, tweet me, message me on YouTube, anything. All right then. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope this has helped. Thank you.